Hello and welcome, I am Sibylan and this is Dwarf Fortress and we are back. We are back in the debatably glorious fortress of Raxax, yes, and we have some new dwarves to welcome to the fortress. We have got, first up in, well, in no particular order, we have Clawsy here, who is, well, here's a description of Clawsy, and a Clawsy apparently has kills of another dwarf. I didn't know that. Okay, I'll keep an eye on you. And who else? We've got Action Hands, Action Hans? I don't know. Who also has kills? I did not pay attention when I was naming these if, uh, if, but no, she, she has killed also a dwarf. We've got some fairly violent dwarves here in our fortress. Ah, but Bradley, Bradley has not killed anyone and is euphoric due to inebriation. Classic dwarf, classic dwarf. And then lastly, but not leastly, we have Stenburus, a farmer who is also euphoric due to inebriation. Classic, classic. I'd be concerned if any of these dwarves weren't because it would probably be indicative of vampirism. So, what are we doing today? I don't know, it's been a week since I played. I've forgotten what's going on. So let's start by throwing, I think this temple. This temple needs a little, it needs something. That something is probably a roof. Now I could build a dome roof. I'm pretty good at building domes. Uh, in games that are otherwise like that are all blocky basically. I've got a bit of a knack in building domes and circles and things. Uh, don't use this one as examples. This this one did turn out more like a, a rounded square but in general I'm pretty good at it. it. just messed it up this time. Anyway so I could try and go for a dome thing on top but honestly I think that's just I don't have the patience you know <laughs> just too much effort. So we're gonna go ahead and throw up some columns in the middle and essentially just build a flat roof I think because I can't be bothered. I might I might for for this. Hmm. Let's uh, designate. No, that's not it. Build a construction. Oh, excuse me. Some up downstairs, and we'll whack some up downstairs here. Maybe. Oh no, there are some here. Okay, I think they're being built. But we might. I might do like a, a sloped roof for this tavern if I'm feeling particularly fancy. But in general, we're going to be keeping our roofs fairly flat. So, what else? Oh yes, important comment. Very important comment. Thank you, uh, eagle-eyed viewer Misha Donchenko. Cause this this bridge right here does is not the right flavor of bridge. It does not it does not retract. It, it does retract even. It does not raise. So we're going to quickly make one that raises it wider and we're gonna make it raise there we go and I'm gonna put this in here because I don't want to waste time demolishing the existing one so we're gonna put that there that's quite a priority what else have we got going on uh, noble quarters look good yeah quick quick note I'll start that rolling and quick note that from here on in we are going to be at the point where uh, I'm going to be pre-recording these episodes. I've finished pre-recording Evil Genius, I'm going to be pre-recording these. So, if anything like this happens in the future, I will probably not see your comment in time. Leave your comment anyway, just on the off chance that I do, but it's unlikely that I will see your comment in time to save me. To save me from myself. From the pain. Also, a little fact correct, apparently the auto mine thing is in the base game of Dwarf Fortress, which I did not know. Either I did not notice that when I used to play this all these year ago, years ago, or it's new. And I don't know which. My camera keeps flicking around while I'm scrolling, so I don't know if that's notifications that I'm missing. Oh yeah, so they just they don't want to brew fruit. So let's actually we destroyed our fruit collection zone a while ago due to the large amount of dwarves getting stuck in trees. But it's been far too long since anyone got stuck in a tree. Uh, Nod Flanders has even dedicated the the smash hit my friend friends to all of the dwarves out there stuck in trees. So let's get some dwarves stuck in trees out there. Gather information, do all the things. Good. Let's send our dwarves out there to their possible deaths and let's throw some doors, well, we'll place gently and carefully install some doors. I don't have enough doors. Let's unit manager queue. Doors. You can never have too many doors. We'll have some rock doors. That'd be great. We'll put like 30 because I really, I really like doors. So we're going to build about 30. What else have we got going on? Uh, we've got some barrels being made. We basically always want barrels being made. Let's throw a few more workshops, if I recall correctly, in this room here. Oh yeah, another fun fact by a viewer. 
no cave-ins. I'm gonna keep it as a separate room anyway, but that's that's a pretty fun fact. Let's see. Uh, oh, we want to cut gems forever. So cut. Uh, I, I did cut with an E there. Oh no, but it, it does it sort of specifically. So I will just set it up in the workshop itself because it wants these specific kind of gems. Oh no, I need to do it for all of them separately. No, don't, no, stop, stop, that's not what I want to do. Okay, so I guess we will just run down the list. Uh, it's not, there we go. So cut, and so we're just, we'll just do a little bit of everything and wait until we run out because there's no, I'm just gonna check that I'm not cutting anything that we don't actually want cut here. Do we wanna cut rock crystal? Pyrite? Isn't pyrite useful for something or am I thinking of... So I'll, I'll leave it for now because I think it might be useful for something but I really really can't remember. As with 90% of the things I do in this game. Like I think this might be a thing but it's it might not be a thing. Who knows. So uh, let's also queue up soap making. So as soon as we get some tallow it starts making soap because I don't, all my tallow seems to get cooked instantly. Oh, you can point, I have been told how we can fish out Rudolin's decaying corpse from here, but I'm leaving it as, ooh, okay, I was not prepared for any of this. I've been just, there's a distinct lack of defenses in my base. A vile force of darkness has arrived. Uh, and all of our dwarves are out in the open, so this is going to be a bit of a race to survival. Where is this vile force of darkness? First question that the deceased list is about to... Oh, it's dwarves! Well, we are very poorly equipped to handle any of this. So, first things first, we are going to burrow our dwarves. Everybody's going to run inside. Second things second, we're going to close some drawbridges. And then uh, after that, I don't know, we're going to sit down and we're going to cry and we're going to think about our life decisions that led me to not build absolutely any any defences at all. Which which was some good decisions, I think. Let's. Uh, I'm going to double check this burrow because it's quite an old one. So I'm going to, you know, extend it a little bit. We'll allow the... Uh, this and the, the staircase generally up to the this little animal thing because we want we want to keep our animals alive but yeah we've got a lot of dwarves above the surface so this could be this could be bad I think as long as we get people to just absolutely leg it inside as fast as possible which is not it, sh it shouldn't be too difficult really I don't imagine they've got much reason to stay outside once I go ah there's enemies so they should flee inside and then the trick is just going to be how many are we willing to leave outside for the you know how, how few are we willing to sacrifice for the sake of the many because most of our dwarves are outside at the moment again this is all my poor decisions i did not expect us to get siege but i thought we were fine because i kind of forgot to embark like this world i don't think has any goblins but i didn't really check and we don't have any goblins neighbors and we're at peace with the elves so honestly, is this because that caravan exploded? This might be because of the exploding caravan thing. I do not know. I do not know. But, regardless, time for, is this all looking good? This is all looking fine for a basic burrow. Well, well, this, this was very unexpected. So, uh, let's first things first. We're going to go, we're not gonna resume. We're gonna go to the military. We've got no soldiers. I think we're going to have to change that. I, uh, see, it's like I knew this would come back to bite me, but I still, I was like, I should, I kept thinking, oh, I should, I should at some point, you know, uh, like maybe make, make a, a, a useful thing. So we, uh, no, 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 okay. Fortress main. It's not drowning ahead, it's the oh no alert, but we'll, we'll make it the drowning ahead alert. Just, uh, we're gonna tell our dwarves that we're about to drown some people, but in truth, it is us that are going to get wrecked. So we're gonna wait now. We're going to keep a close eye on these others. Where are you? They have all arrived here on the left of the map. So we will allow, allow our people a moment 
of respite to flee inside and once they start to get mildly close I'm going to close the gates and anyone who is outside will be abandoned so a lot of you may end up on your second characters fairly early on. Oh why didn't I build a military? I was I have so many regrets we don't even have a drowning trap anymore we don't we didn't even demolish the drop this is quite quite bad so everybody flee inside please so we've got dwarves chasing our dwarves down hopefully who is this poor soul who's this one who's been caught okay it's none of you so maybe they'll get tied up on these gathering dwarves for just long enough so they're making moves and how soon it's quite hard to tell which ones they are uh, so we will we're gonna start closing gates I think uh, just uh, everyone outside you are abandoned to your fate so which which gates was it this one and this one it'll take a moment for people to actually come over and pull the lever but i just oh, we've got all these people are so close to the end the gate though but so are the invaders i will wait just a moment just a moment on this bottom gate okay but just just one one little moment just to allow them to get a tiny bit closer interrupted by it yeah everyone outside is abandoned to their fate uh let's double check where all of the i'm just gonna double check where all of the invaders are you are an invader you are an invader you are an invader and i don't want any of the i don't i can't allow any invaders inside due to my complete lack of military oh rudlin i hope you make it in we don't want to end up on rudlin 3 who's still outside We've got Rudlin out, and I think that's it for the named dwarves that are outside. So, Rudlin, I'm going to pull the lever now, but you should have just just enough time. Hopefully you won't get smashed by a drawbridge, but you never know. You should hopefully have just enough time. And let's do, uh, do task now, and do task now. Okay, no one's actually pulling the levers. I should have probably pulled those earlier. Oh, then again, our doors are locked, I believe. Or we should be able to momentarily lock the dwarves. The, d the doors. Kind of wish I could slow this down a little bit. Aha, they've become distracted by killing this pig. This this is the, the invader that is the furthest forward, I believe. How many invaders are there? There was something... Uh, I'm going to check that they're all accounted for here. So we've got one two three four five here that i can see uh are there any yeah so it looks like there's five i can see now if i go on the unit list how many are there more than five more than five so where are you here i'm just i, I, I like i know i'm taking this very slow but that's because i care oh we've got a few over here uh one two three four over here Okay, so I think, as far as, as, as far as I can tell, none of them are too close to the base yet, which is good because we have not yet closed the drawbridges and also because this dwarf is still on the drawbridge, so it may get smooshed, but it will be a necessary sacrifice. So, yeah, they've killed the pig. That's fine. Okay, and... Right, and, and now they're starting to move more towards the things, and these levers have not yet been pulled. Which, uh, why, why has no one pulled the levers? The levers are inside the burrow, and there are idle dwarves inside the burrow, and yet the levers are not being pulled. This could be fairly unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead now, if I forbid the doors, uh, forbidden and forbidden. So we've got all of these doors forbidden, which may be enough to stall the invaders. What are they doing? They're all gathered round this mangled corpse. Maybe they're all just finishing it off. Regardless, uh, that, that went about as well 
as I could really have hoped. On the plus side, we finally managed to close the drawbridges. Now, who died? Question. Uh, we've got... That was, that was Rudlin, was already dead. Nod Flanders, my legendary bone carver. Did you already die, or is this... Is this the... It, or have you... Is, is that just you? Oh no, we've already got Nod Flanders the second. Okay, you were already dead. Uh, okay. Okay, so there might be some people sort of abandoned and wounded outside, but it looks like we got all the dwarves in, or most of them anyway, which is actually very good because I thought we were going to get totally slaughtered, but it seems that our livestock hanging around acted as enough of a distraction to keep us alive. I should do that more often. I should just chain up some dogs outside. Uh, so we're going to start recruiting a military. I'm going to take the hint. We're also going to build um, some workshops because I said I was going to do that and then I got a bit distracted. We've already got two carpenters workshops, but we're not going to be doing any carpentry for now. We're going to be doing some masonry. Oh, and we also need to check this bridge. And we're going to hook that bridge up to a lever. We'll keep the old bridge as yet another tribute to my ineptitude. actually put the camera in the right place we will link I should use hotkeys to navigate my base it would save me a lot of pain ah uh, well I don't know oh right there's a farmer claiming a thing they're probably gonna go crazy anyway I don't know which lever I've hooked up to the downstairs thing so I'm gonna build a new bridge lever and I'm gonna continue my proud tradition of not labeling levers and this is going to be our cabin lever. We're going to put it there for no reason. Precisely no reason. And we're going to need some more rock mechanisms. And let's say 20 because we build a fair amount of stuff. Now, can I use this depot area is the question. If I can use this depot area, that would be good because, oh well, we've got some pigs and stuff wandering around. So we'll, we'll need to, yeah, we've got a yak calf. So I'm gonna take these pigs and yak calves and things and I'm gonna put them in here. If there's anything, yeah, we've got piglet, don't need the poult, yak calf, you, ducklings. Oh, we got little ducklings, how precious. Uh, let's take the giraffes and the dingoes and the porcupines and all that out of their cages and put them up here. And what else have we got? A gander. Let's have a gander at all of the animals that we have. Yeah, that's probably it. Uh, okay, so that's all there. That's good. What have we got here? What are these? Almonds. Oh, nice. Got food and everything. This is going to be absolutely fine. How much stuff do we have, stocks-wise? We've got... Uh, so prepared meals, we are fine. Drinks, we are not totally fine, but probably fine enough. Uh, especially because we've got this quite large plump helmet plot with a bunch of acorns on it for a reason reasons that are incomprehensible to me but we do have we got enough seeds oh right it's because we've got all of these seeds from surface plants and they're totally filling up our stockpile right I might need to dig out a slightly larger stockpile but regardless I believe this is our big plant helmet plot and a b c d yes so what do we have no things for ah the pigtails here we have no no things for so uh that we'll just do this is always plump helmets and this is always plump helmets and this is no no not quarry bushes don't be ridiculous why grow that when you can grow plump helmets and oops more plump helmets perfect so we have plump helmeted up all of this uh, we've got plenty of turkeys and such so we will get plenty of eggs let's actually forbid a few there's 14 fertile ones here we'll forbid them because goodness knows we have enough food and then we will get more turkeys and they're not fertilized let's not let's not keep them and these ones are so there we 
we go. And actually we can go ahead and I can, I've decided that we're going to use the turkeys as distraction shields because the pigs that got killed worked really, really well as uh, for that. And uh, we should just do more of that because it worked. Let's go to our animals. Let's go ahead and start slaughtering turkeys. It's been a whole 10 seconds since we came under siege, so obviously we're going to immediately eat all of our animals. Uh, we'll just eat, I don't know, these three. Yeah, that's a good start. We don't even need to, but we will. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just do two, just because I want to make sure that we can keep making more turkeys. And we don't slaughter completely all of them, just most of all of them. Now then, what should we have our dwarves do while we're trapped underground? Well, we could just keep heading down towards the caverns. Really, I don't see why any of this would have stopped that. So that could be a good move, heading down. Especially once we've got that bridge hooked up. I'll hook the bridge up first, because, uh, you know, not having our base invaded from two directions at once is big and clever. And then what else have we got here? Uh, we should have all of our war training underway for the dogs. What have we got? Succumb to the invasion. Never. It's like a handful of dwarves. If I had a military, I would be beating them right now. Oh, this is where we're going to put our barracks. I'll tell you what. Let's build... Right. I'm not very good at the military, and I'd like to say that now before I start upsetting people. Uh, really, let's let's look at this positively. Let's look at the positive part of the situation. I think these people that are, that are here with us, I think that they're, they're not, you know, trying to kill us necessarily. It's all a big misunderstanding. They are just the first visitors to our holiday resort. I think that's the obvious and reasonable conclusion that we can make. Uh, yes. Oh. What's happened here? We've got someone stuck in a tree, it looks like. Please stay stuck in the tree. There are people that will kill you out here. You just stay in that tree until the siege is over. If you die, then, you know, uh, maybe, maybe you want to go out, do you want to go out fighting? Tree dwarf, where's the tree dwarf? Here, would you like to go out fighting? Uh, Law, Lawbab. So we let's recruit you, Lawbab. Lawbab, we're gonna make a squad. You don't need a uniform. And Lawbab, no, not revived rage. Although I, I might, I might make our military comprised entirely of named dwarves, uh, just to increase the death count a bit. You know, keep it exciting. Will you survive to the end of this series? That is the question. You know, it's. it's, it's it's just it's all it's all luck it's all luck so this herbalist you're part of a squad now herbalist yeah now uh so we've got a squad Ooh. why is the screen moved to the middle of absolutely nowhere oh a, a mysterious construction good that's what we need more wealth to attract more sieges Absolutely. So let me just check because where where is the the squad? There's a thing where you can like bod 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 boss squads around. So I just need to check where that is because uh, I feel like it should be under military. But I think it's been so long. Military. Why don't you inactive? I would like to activate you. Hmm, hmm. Give me a moment. Oh, S. S for squads. Okay, and the deeps of coal. Don't die. Dying of dehydration in a tree. Go out like a real dwarf. Attack. Are you still stuck in the tree? Come on, you can... Yeah, you've motivated yourself down from the tree. Here you are. Here we go. One hero. One absolute hero. Let me check the reports before all that. Ooh, a lot of people have been fighting. Uh, killed a duckling. Uh, duckling. Oh, it was just like loads of them killing my animals. And they've been rained on. It makes them so, so grouchy. More dead animals. Uh, the pike dwarf charges with the lasher. Death, this is truly horrifying. Wait. 
Who's the lasher? I don't know who the, the lasher is and what why they're... Were these people fighting amongst themselves? The dwarven baby is fighting! Oh, dwarven baby. Oh, I think this was a... I don't know if this was fighting or if it was... Oh. Okay, so we've got some injured people. Oh, Hellblade has been fighting. Uh, no, I think that was, I think that was some kind of collapse. Yeah, I think this stuff is all, mm, mm hmm that might have been some building collapses there. Go out like a hero! Fight them! Yes. How did you do? Let's see. Uh, not very well, as it turned out. Let's take a little look at the reports and see how that went. The Lasher! Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, well, you scratched someone in the eyelid that twisted the head and tore apart the, sk tore apart the skin. Uh, punching. It was just, it was some punching. Do you know what? Actually, looks like that went better than, uh, <laughs> that went better than I expected in many senses. You would have been a great member of our military if only, uh, you hadn't been trapped outside an upper tree. But, you know, that's, that's not the way the world works. So, what's going on here? Let's make this into a barracks stroke armory. And, yeah, no, that squad is gone. We're gonna not have that squad be there. That's so sad. Uh, let's build a chest in here so they can keep their stuff. I don't know. And what else? Units. Uh, no, military. Uh, let's disband this squad. I'm s I can't keep the squad. Actually, no. We're going to keep the squad and we're going to add some people to it. Revived Rage, welcome to the squad. Dwarf Comic, welcome to the squad. Cody Nomi, welcome to the squad. Cosmoronic, welcome to the squad. Let's skip this person. Uh, Nod Flanders the first, uh, the, the, that should be Nod Flanders the second. That should be Nod Flanders the second. I'll rename that in a sec. Welcome to the squad. Uh, Tilla Toth, welcome to the squad. David Ashir, welcome to the squad. The Bullet Train, Anubis Shadows, Hellblade. You're all in the squad. It's, good. it's the best squad. Look at this team. Look at this amazing team. Maybe we should, we'll, we'll make another squad. Uh, we're going to make another squad. And I've got... Mm, See, I know this is a bad idea because you're all basically my most valuable dwarves. Like, I make all the carpenters and the miners and the mayor and stuff. Uh, I kind of name all them after people. Really, I should fill this up with fire. I'll tell you what, we'll have, we've got the deeps of coal, but we're also going to make a new squad. Yes. Uh, how do I, where, where, where? where? Oh, we need a captain of the guard too. Oh, we should create a squad with uh, no real uniform at the moment. We might make a uniform. The lengths of clasping. And this will be our cannon fodder squad. Actually, no, I'm going to move everyone over from the other squad, right? And then they could, this, this is the, this is the elite squad. And then the, the deeps of coal can be the cannon fodder squad and we've set a precedent by already using one of them as cannon fodder so let's actually go to the bottom of the list and then from the bottom of the list yeah fishery worker whatever farmer whatever uh i'll, I'll let you live for now ranger rangers sound pretty good actually let's grab a load of rangers got peasant a gelder farmer farmer there we go quality squad there and let's maybe Hmm. Do we want another squad? Hmm. Nah, let's leave it for now. We now have some squads. Okay. We've got squads. Now, uh, military, let's go ahead and give all of you some good equipment. Uh, equipment. View custom. Um, mm -mm. I'm gonna need to check between episodes how militaries work, but we now have a military. Too little, too late, perhaps, but we have one. And uh, that's where we're gonna end it for today. I'm gonna do a little bit of Googling between episodes maybe, or maybe I won't bother. Let's see, find out next time in Dwarf Fortress.